वेलकम टू प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ आवर डेली टास्क प्लानर ऐप एंड विदाउट फर्दर ऑडियू लेट्स डायरेक्टली गेट इन टू इट सो अप अंटिल द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड टास्क स्टोर्ड देम एंड ऑल्सो रिट्रीव्ड देम नाउ लेट्स डिस्प्ले देम ऑन द स्क्रीन ओके सो फॉर दैट आई रिमूव दिस टेक्स्ट दैट वी हैव ओवर हेयर ओके सो और बेटर दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ रिमूविंग आई डू कंडीशनल रेंडरिंग दैट मीन्स इफ दिस टास्क इज एम टी देन द सेंटर विजट विल बी देर अदरवाइज वी विल डिस्प्ले सम अदर विजट ओके सो इफ टास्क इज इक्वल टू नल दैट मीन्स वी डोंट हैव एनी टास्क देन दिस सेंटर विजट सीम्स अप्रोप्रिएट एंड इफ वी हैव समथिंग देन लेट्स डिस्प्ले इट so for that i'll use a column you can use a list view also i feel more comfortable with column so in column we have children the children is task dot map dot to list so we have already discussed this method in one of the video where we were discussing about columns so for now let's return a container okay now the container will have a height of let's say 70 and the width will be the entire width of the screen media query dot of context dot size dot width okay don't know why it is yes so the error is gone now along with uh, this uh, inside it will have a child and the child will be a row or for now just uh, let it simply be the text and the text is e dot task okay so the task now let's format this save this and see how it appears so we can see all the tasks and it looks pretty ugly let's add some decoration to it so we'll call the decoration parameter we'll have box decoration okay now inside this we will first uh, add the border radius so border radius dot circular and then from all sides i want it to be circular by 5 degrees or okay and then let's add a border decoration style so border and the border we'll use the uh, widget border dot all means that refers to all the sides now let's add color to this border the color, color of border will be black color start black and it can be of width uh, uh, 0.5 let's say now let's format it save it and see how it looks i hope it looks better okay so it is looking better but still it needs a lot more refining let's add margin margin we always use const because we don't want this to re-render every time we call every time the set is state every time the set state method is called okay because it is not necessary so let's add a margin from all that sides to be 10 pixel okay so it looks better maybe i can change this to symmetric and horizontally we have 10 pixel of uh, margin but uh, vertically i think only 5 will do so let's see yes this looks better now the text uh, should be in center so for that we have another widget that is alignment and then it also has an enum alignment 
डॉट सेंटर सेंट्रल लेफ्ट ओके लेट्स फॉर्मेट दिस सेव दिस ओके नाउ लेट्स एड सम पैडिंग ओवर हेयर so for that i'll simply copy this in vs code we have a shortcut shift option and down button then the all selected things are copied just below it and i'll change this to padding and instead of symmetric it will be only and this will be left i'm sorry and now since we have only one parameter we don't need a comma it can be a one liner widget and let's save this and some padding is there okay now i think we were using the font uh, mont serrat over here i think yes so we are using mont serrat so i need to add that over here as well style google fonts dot mont serrat okay let's format this now let's save this and the text is in the font of montserrat okay so now the basic ui is done now all we need to do is add a radio button over here and as soon as it is ticked mark instead of radio button we can use a check box as soon as it is checked we will remove this task uh, item from here okay and also from the shared preferences so for that i need to wrap this text around a row okay so like this let's save this now Yes so there is no change in UI that's good now i'll add a check box okay now this check box needs uh, some parameter for now i'll just give the required parameter because ui is my major concern the parameter value is required so uh, let's add some value for now all will be false that means unchecked okay let's see what else is required shit i'll have to check it like this only might need to give it a key uh let's say the key key takes a value of any type so let's say a global key and over here we can leave it like this so let's format this save this it will show what is required or what not okay so we have the check box over here now we want this to go over here so for that uh, we can either leave uh, add a sized box in between that is the inefficient method the efficient method would be to change the alignment main axis alignment and the main axis alignment would be space between so it will leave all the space possible in between the two items okay so now you can see all are perfectly aligned to the right and all the tasks are perfectly aligned to the left so with this we complete the ui now we'll add functionality in the coming parts so let me add it to version control